Thank you, Charlie. What a kind man you are. Can you hear me? Can you see me? I'm hoping you can. It's Thursday. It's that time of the week. I'm back into the groove. I'm streaming from home. Thursdays, 7 p.m. EST. For two hours, typically. Cheers, everybody. Mm-hmm. Mm. Peter Graves. I saw that, Peter Graves. Now, let me scroll on up here. And before I get into this uh, whole saying hello thing, I'm going to officially welcome you to my YouTube channel for this little stream we do every week. I invite mostly weirdos, nerds, geeks, freaks, unacceptables, asymmetricals, but you normie beautiful people are welcome to be here too. Here we go. <clears throat> oh, yeah. I typically wait till I start my stream to have my first little drink. And man, by the time I start the stream, I really, I really enjoy it. Mm -hmm. In the monstrosity. So anyway, uh, I welcome you to hang out. We talk about music. We talk about whatever my life is doing. And uh, I, I, I welcome you with open arms. Now, some people have accused me for trying to recruit people for the dark side. Wait a second. Did I say dark side? I meant dork side, because this is the dork community, and welcome to you. We also dabble in the VC, the vinyl community, and uh, the nerd community, and the uh, freak community, and uh, whatever else, community. If you want me to be a part of the community that you're in, you just tell me what it is, and I'll do my best <clears throat> to represent. Now, First, now we're going to say hello. And look at this. I did a little, little experiment today. I started streaming about five to ten minutes earlier than I usually do to see if I could throw off writer Jordan Gory Jory Lurie from being first. And I think I did because Nick Tronic was first. Eleven minutes to six. Very good, Nick. That means your name will be included in a drawing, which I'll have on in January, and it will be comprised of all the first people that show up in my live stream chats and all the last commenters in the stream uh, on my live stream videos. So two different prizes for two different winners, first and last. And I'll tell you, some of these people are in there a few times. Writer Jordan Gory, Jury Leary is often first and sometimes last. And if you can ask the people who won last year's, or technically this year's, I think it was a uh, record hound and uh, 
who else was it? Breakfast King? I forget. I don't even know if those guys come around here anymore, but they could tell you if indeed they were the winners, that the prizes are, are good. They're not uh, junk. So welcome. And we're going to say hi to everybody. There's writer Jordan. He was second today. <laughs> and uh, Adrian, we love Adrian. Cheers to you. Maybe we'll see you in the California soon, right? Peter Graves, we'll see you soon. Devotional or, or if we're out in California, typically we see him. <laughs> so sorry. Devotional news, please. Well, there's this. For all you vinyl community nerds out there, record collector geeks such as myself, Devoted is an album with a gatefold cover with uh, some dumb drawing I did on the front. It's recordings made at Devotional's past. It features Devo members and devotees making music together. And it's limited to around 250 copies, I believe. You can only purchase it at Devotional uh, this year. Uh, so these will probably be gone uh, from Devotional. Uh, you know, if you have an in to Devotional, you're not going to come and you want to get one of these, maybe they could work something out for you. But literally, I have this one and I have a test pressing. That's all I have. So but this is de Devotional News for sure. That's good stuff. And there's a video that I did of that that I posted a few days ago. It has needle drops if you want to hear it. Uh, another thing about devotional that I want to mention is that um, we have these uh, devotional uh, T-shirts, the official event T-shirts that we have every year. And I put them on pre-order until right before the event, and then pre-orders stop, and then the only way you can get them is really at the event or if I have any left over, which is not typical. So right here I'm going to put the link that you can go get your devotional 2023 official event shirt uh, before the end of tomorrow, September 1st. Tomorrow is the last day to pre-order that shirt. So if you want one, go get it. It's got the guys on their Honda scooters. They have gold energy domes for the 50th anniversary of Devo. It's a pretty cool shirt. And um, I got to tell you, thank you all for whoever's purchased them and purchased tickets. We've sold a lot of tickets and a lot of shirts this year. Thank goodness. Uh, and uh, we're happy about that. So Nicktronic is here. Vincent, of course, is here. Uh, we love these people. AZ Mick, of course. Butter Knives. Can't wait to meet you at Devotional. <clears throat> Maybe you're still eating. Not Young Young. There he goes. I always spell his name wrong. Uh, let's see. Random Mother is here. Hello, Random. I love that name. I get off on that name. Miss You, of course, is here. We love Miss You. Uh, we wouldn't feel right if Miss You didn't show up. It would be weird. Crip. Hello. Nice to see you in Europe, man. It was really cool. Easy Mick, of course. Uh, let's see. Let's see. I'm not trying not to double up. Nick Pantazzi. What's happening? Very good to see you. Uh, MZ Pems. Nice dome. I know I always say that. Good to see you. Thanks for being here. Marianne. Yes. Marianne. I have a couple of things here that uh, we're going to get into soon. And there's Tim, my longest living friend. Yeah. My goodness, the stories we could tell. Uh, and we have, let me see, a little uh, chime in by Peter there. That's nice. A little lucky number. And let's see here. Anybody else new I need to say? Oh, heck, far. What's up? I've been digging the travel vids, 21 Days of Cleveland. I can't wait to see you up there, man. It's going to be really great. A lot of people that I don't usually come to devotional are coming this year. And I'm just really psyched to meet uh, all of you. Uh, sometimes for the first time pumping vinyl. I don't know if I've seen you here, but I like that title. I guess you're into records, right? Did you just see the record I showed devoted devotional specific exclusive, by the way, wait a second, Cameron is Cameron here. I haven't seen Cameron in a long time. Cameron couldn't be here. No, really? That would make me feel very happy, but I don't, I'm scrolling. I don't see the cam. Maybe somebody's talking about uh, something. I guess Peter maybe answered somebody's question. I don't know, but uh, my goodness, I would like to see uh, old cam. All right, so I'm scrolling. I don't see anything. Uh I don't see anything. Shit. Okay. I'm not drinking real beer. I'm drinking a Heineken because I can't. I, it's harder and harder to find my brand Amstel Light. I don't know why. Uh, let's see. Uh, 
so yeah, Cameron. Oh, I think Cameron was maybe a winner last year, but yeah, she didn't uh, claim the prize. Um, how'd Miss you not win? Uh, that was luck of the draw, man. It's a drawing. Stina, what's happening? I can't wait to see you guys. Jackass Flats coming in strong, Dave. Nice to see you as always. Zap. What's up? One of the few people I've met in Tommy's Vinyl Knot from Finland, and we hung out. It was great hanging out with Zep in Chicago, dude. Thanks for uh, coming here, Zep. Appreciate you. All right. Uh, trying to get through here. I got stuff to talk about, but I want to say hello. Santa Antonio Terranova. I'd like to see you perform a few of tracks, shout, including, yeah, okay, well, you're not the only one that wants to see them perform all that stuff. Now, this is interesting. <laughs> yeah. Oh, good old tranny. Tranny, if you weren't such a normie, maybe you can come up with a better name than Tranny. <laughs> you dumb shit. Uh, go to hell. <laughs> there you go, Tranny. You go to hell. <laughs> Not my hell. You go to your hell. My hell's special. Okay, here we go. Blue package looks like it's from Swedish Post. It could be. That's a very good eye, Crip. I tell you, man, I think there's something very Swedish in there, and I cannot wait. I can't wait. I won. Oh, yeah. Well, it's, yeah, that's probably true. Okay, yeah, because I, yeah, I think we picked Cam's name 17 times or something. Oh, Fuzzy. What's up, Fuzzy? Butter Knives is back. What's happening? Butter Knives. I love that little sneaky peek drawing that you showed. The little sneaky peek at the whatever you're making me for devotional. I can't wait. I'm just so uh, so psyched. Um, like 138 times. I know. It's crazy. Uh so here we go. We are going to uh, get Tim up here in a second. Uh, let me just say something that um, uh, I've been working on a lot, of, a lot of stuff. Like as soon as I got back from tour, the work did not stop. It, um, it really amped up. So here's the stuff I've been working on just to let you know. We're working on Devo Tour merchandise, uh, some designs for their upcoming U.S. and Australian tour, uh, mainly t-shirts. I'm working on some Devo licensing merchandise for a company that uh, they're going to be working with, doing some limited products. That's coming soon. I've been working with Thor on his 50th anniversary stuff. I think I'll be posting his official 50th anniversary logo uh, tomorrow, if I'm not mistaken. I've been working on a lot of videos. As, you, as you've seen, I'm posting a new video every day for the past, I don't know, week, week and a half. And I've been making some little stickers. Uh, I've been getting creative with stickers handmade stickers and uh, and I'm putting them up in places and I'm enjoying the hell out of that. Uh, but I do, oh, also, <laughs> one thing I've been working on is my house flag, you know, the flag that people put on their houses outside. They usually have sport teams or whatever, flowers or birds or whatever on them. I had one for the longest time that said cats, not kids, like the logo in the corner of the screen there. After about a year, it just fell apart, faded, fell apart. So I didn't have one for a while and I started looking around at my junk here in the house and I have this big old, uh, I can show it to you, but it's not done yet. I have a big flag which, which got a sewn in, it's like a sewn in angel. Uh, it's like a, it's almost like a stained glass window with each piece being a different color. And it's an angel profile view. I'm fixing that flag so I can hang it in front of my house. So you'll be seeing that fairly soon. Now, um, one more thing I want to mention before we bring Tim up is I went to a, a concert a couple days ago something I found out about last minute, um, I guess about a month ago or so, uh, an acquaintance of mine, uh, somebody I really didn't know closely, but who I interacted with over the decades named Caleb Southern passed away, um, unexpectedly. And, um, there was a, there was a, a little concert for him, a benefit. And a lot of my friends who I haven't seen in years showed up some bands who I haven't seen in many years showed up bicycle face, uh, Ben folds was there. And Caleb, if you don't know, uh, was a music producer extraordinaire, and he did a lot of stuff for a lot of people. And, I, you know, I had to go to his Discogs page and look at it to be reminded. There you go, Tim. Thanks for posting that. I was just getting ready to. Uh, to be reminded of there were even releases that I, like, did artwork for that he produced. And uh, he, even, he even produced a sockeye record, for Christ's sake, an anti-scene. So this guy was all over the place. He, you know, he produced some of the most well-known indie rock uh, bands here from North Carolina and a lot more. So go check him out. Just see what he's done over his life. He's a, he was a good guy. Uh, and I wish I knew him better. Um, 
but uh, yeah, now I wanted to just say that and uh, say that my bicycle face footage of that evening is coming to uh, YouTube. I know you don't know who they are, but they're really good. Um, so let's bring Tim up, my longest living friend. And Tim, unmute your microphone for me. Right on. And then we will add Timothy to the stream. Right. Hello, on. everybody. Hope you are right all on. well. Tim's back. And he's not on his back. That's good. No, no, yeah. It's always good. <laughs> Hey, uh, oh, oh, Nick, Nick, Nick. Thank you, thank you. Oh, my goodness. Right in time to interrupt Tim's uh, uh, intro. Oh, why do you Nick, think you did it? <laughs> you're a very kind man, Nick, and I won't belch just for you. Nick is really uh, kind of um, grossed out by belching, so I'm not going to burp while he's here. I'll try to hold. I'm sorry, Miss You, but we got to do favors for Nick because, look, he threw cash at us, and he made the, the clown alarm happen. There's a clown back there, and the alarm's going off. And then also what happens during this is this little Charlie – he doesn't belch, but he sure does wave that toilet around. It lights up, and so do his eyes. Yeah, that's what he does. So, Nick. <laughs> and I'm, I'm sure a, Nick really appreciates him. I just held in a belch for you, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> held it in. I don't know if I've ever done that on my stream. Here we go. Now, let's talk about this, Tim. I love how Tim always has a different background. By design. Yeah, yeah, I try. I try. So, uh, Tim, you want to – I'll, I'll uh, make you big. Tell us what's uh, – I don't need to be made big. <laughs> Make me there small. <laughs> um, well, this is the, obviously a preform of a. Oh, that's dome. a dome, pre-cut, um, uncircumcised dome. It's uncircumcised. Yep, and uh, it's you know it's got the cool cool edges here. Shit, you know, just gotta love all that stuff. Um, up yonder is a uh, Pat Benatar and Neil Giraldo um, autograph. That was uh, I don't know, probably ten years ago um, at a you know, local show. I've been a diehard Pat Benatar fan, you know, since 1979. And then of course my band, uh, detention, um, they played place, uh, a show called porch rocker in Akron. And it is really a kick-ass thing. I'm not sure if many communities have it, but it's where, uh, they'll choose a block or, or in this case, it was like six blocks. And, um, the people volunteer their front porches, to have bands play on them. And we're talking everything from folk music to metal to hardcore, like, you know, every genre represented. And, um, and somehow they put it together really well. And uh, uh, this was the second year that detention was the headliner um, of 214 bands, I believe it was. And um, it was just definitely a great time. Saw many great, great uh, shows. Uh, Massive hot dog recall, of course, was there. Um, and then, uh, um, Gene is grabbing the uh, Charlie. <laughs> um, oh, that's another Charlie. Now, what Charlie is that? Uh, well, that's the one that you and I found when when we went to Fayetteville. Uh, that's just Charlie. Back. Just Charlie. No, it's Char it's a Charlie McCarthy doll. Oh, okay, McCarthy. Okay, got it. Yeah, you know, it's a ventriloquist doll. And yeah. um, well, you're gonna learn uh, how to use that, right? What's that? You're gonna learn how to use that thing in entertainment. Oh, of course, of course. Okay. You know me, right? Um, but yeah, I uh. <laughs> It was just too weird to not rescue for three dollars, so I did. <laughs> right on, impressed. People are impressed. Charlie yeah. McCarthy, he knows. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah now, yeah. oh, vanilla gorilla, vanilla vinyl, uh, go real. What's up? <laughs> no, no, yeah, no. You you didn't say it right this time. I, I, I Vi kinda... vinyl gorilla. Vanilla no. gorilla. Uh, vanilla gorilla. That's it. That's uh, it. Now let's see. Um, somebody asked something in the chat earlier and i wanted to mention it but i forgot uh let's see here where is it um let's see hold on one second hold on one second you guys I, it's it's an important it's a good question uh scrolling 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 everybody hold on you guys oh, hold wait. on and hold on comment it's right here okay Forget it. I can't find it. Anyway, somebody asked uh, what kind of box I took to Europe to be able to come back with all the records. Well, I'll show you. So what I actually took with me was a box that was just slightly bigger than this. It just folded out to be a slightly thicker box than this is, and that's all I took. Now, mind you, no, it was smaller than that. Oh, okay. So that's what I took with me. But when I got to Europe, and I started buying records. I asked the record stores for boxes. So I got this one in Germany. As you see here, it says German something, something on it. 
I got that one in Germany. And then I went to another record store. I got another box, which the records in, I can't show you. And it's from Germany too. And it's kind of the one, like the one Tim just showed, but Tim, it's really cool. It's got this company rubber stamped on it on the box. And then inside on the base, you know, the base of the interior of the box, the, the floor of the box, basically, there's this really cool, thick, thick cardstock, uh, like, um, you know, like brown tan cardstock that's on the base with a, with a store stamped on it. Not the store, but the place that makes the shipping materials. But yeah, it's like a really nice, so that the base is totally flat and it's not those full. And so flat. it's sturdier. It's like harder than yeah, the exterior. And it's real. It's real cool. So I'll use that box for a long time. But yeah, the record cool. stores are very cool there. Gave me all the boxes I needed for free. Nobody charged for them like they do in the U.S. Um, so that's how I got all those records back. And I had a tote bag that was completely packed full of seven inch records and 12 inch records. It was heavy as hell. It was such a pain to take home, but I did it. <laughs> I did it. Um, now I want to mention any minute now, uh, my friend, Brad, who is, I still call him my neighbor. He's not my neighbor anymore. He moved about a mile away. He's still my neighbor. And he's bringing a friend of his named Jamie and, uh, they're going to, join me for the stream and then we're going to go take a walk downtown after this uh i wanted to mention something though our friend mr bizarro Oops. oh wait what does that say crip i don't i don't know that's what mm. i was trying to figure that out can you uh put that through a translator my friend that's what see what that means um so uh speaking of streams yeah mr bizarro i guess hasn't been really streaming last uh four times since i've been out of town maybe i talked to him today uh, I hope he doesn't mind me saying, but he's taking a little break from social media in general. He's spending more time with a uh, family, girlfriend, you know, like, you know, doing stuff, riding his bike, his motorcycle. He'll be back in a couple of weeks, he said. So he's all good. He's having a good time. He was just taking a break from the computer, which, you know, I can uh, I can relate to. Uh, and uh, here we go. Let, let, look, look at this. No baloney. Anzalone is, is, is given proper respect to the impaled Nazarene footage. The little bit of footage I could shoot. Uh, thanks for watching, for sure. Uh, do you think we could swing detention opening for men without hats? Mm. I don't know if that would be a good mix. I'm not sure if that would be the right mix, but uh, be a good crowd, I, mean, I guess. I would love detention to uh, sway a little bit in that direction. And, uh, of course, I'm going to try to influence that. But, uh, you know. Oh, Adrian. Well, my vinyl collection is all around my house. Uh, behind me, that wall, those, that corner there is all autographed framed albums. Uh, there's Devo over here in a couple of bins. There's also Devo over there. And downstairs is where the most of the vinyl lives. So one day, you know, I've always planned on doing a, a house tour, not a room tour, but a house tour. But I have to have my house set up all like the whole thing set up and cleaned. And so I, I have I have to uh, not travel so much in order to do that. And Adrian, so. you, you could you get a good glimpse of it uh, when the soap girls stayed at his place. Um, that is definitely a good one, and it shows a lot yep. of the albums, both downstairs and upstairs. Um, <laughs> there, there's a few, there's a few videos that he's done that, you know, there's no way to show all of them. I mean, of course, but well, there is a way, but um, <laughs> I mean, like, I don't know. Like, would you ever sit through that? I would not. <laughs> I don't know if it was my house, I might. Oh, but but and and just thinking of records, I was at a friend's, at my, actually a relative, my my aunt's, a, a friend of my aunt's today. Um, and she was from Liverpool and, uh, she experienced and she knew, she knew, gosh, I think it was Ringo and Paul's brother or dated her best friend or whatever. It's like, so she, she knew like, and she was there when the Beatles were nothing, but long story short, she moved here and, um, we were just talking about, cause they're thinking about moving and getting rid of stuff. And of course I asked about records and she said, and she, she, she holds her hand out like three, three feet. And she's like, yeah, I, I had six boxes of records, but I just, just gave them to my son-in-law. I was just like, oh my God, all those UK records. You know, some people just aren't very smart. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Look at that. I, I saw that Crip uh, Impaled Nazarene um, mentioned that. Now I want to mention uh, Vince, you know, my t-shirt collection would be something pretty impossible to show because there's thousands of them. A lot of them are in storage. Uh, my closet that currently stores my t-shirts. Your storage wear, would scare anybody. I mean, I mean your, your uh, closet. Oh, uh, my closet is total mess right now because I've been traveling so much. And it's just way too tight. Now, if you, 
if you search for the word t-shirt or t-shirts, I think I have a video showing some of the really cooler ones, the vintage ones that I have. Uh, I think that's on my channel. So, um, so there's that. Uh, let's see. Uh, there was something. Oh, hello. Well, why? Well, I don't know why they would. Well, you don't want to put the record in them. You want to take the record out before you frame them for sure, because the record adds ridiculous weight. You know, what I do is the records that are framed, I put the record in another sleeve and just put a little piece of paper in it that either says framed or maybe it's the paper that comes out of the frame because they have those display images in the frames that you buy. I put that in the sleeve of the record. But yeah, do not frame the actual records, Mr. O'Connor. And uh, I, I recognize your name from uh, the... Uh, the Instagram. Thanks for coming over here. I appreciate it. Nice makeup too. You get, you do your makeup real nice. Um, speak English or die. Well, you're going to die no matter what I can, in, uh, language you speak. I got to break it to you. <laughs> Everybody dies. Uh, I ran messages through Google translate. Okay. What does it say? Uh, shit. Oh, maybe that's what he said about record shops. Cause uh, you know, I may be going to Europe next summer, so we'll see. At a venue called Slaughter Church. Oh, my God. That's great. Hey, yeah. Nick, you gave them to the right person. You are smart. <laughs> you gave your collection to the no, right no, person. No, no, no. I, I disagree. <laughs> may I appeal? Uh, it's the, just the word son-in-law makes me think that they don't even know what a vinyls is. <laughs> well, no. She, I mean, she, she, she kind of Look at that. some really cool shit. Yes, you did. Store. You did hear that, Randy, and I'm going yeah, to yeah. tell the story. You got, got got an issue with that? Yeah. He's got a big issue, an issue called Playboy. <laughs> That's where it was featured. Oh, look. That's a good thing to look at. That's right. Vinyls. You and your vinyls. Jeez. Get out of here. Randy. The plural of vinyl is records. <laughs> All right. So uh, here we go. I want to do something. I want to open this mail, right? Because when my friends get here, uh, you know, it's, it, this is all in the way. You're not going to be able to see them because this pile of stuff. So let me just open this stuff. And uh, Tim, I'm going to open yours first because this has been hanging out since last week. This is from Marianne right here. It's making up for that other thing that got lost. Remember, Tim? Marianne sent uh, me and Tim a gift. And when I got the envelope, it was open, and Tim's gift had fallen out of it along the way. And so that was harsh. That was very not cool. So Marianne was totally kick-ass and uh, sent Tim a replacement gift. And I'm trying to be very careful opening it here, Timothy. And she handed me this in Europe. I believe it was in Sweden she handed me this. And so right now... Oh, Try and open it up without destroying this envelope too much because I'll probably reuse it. Okay, here we go. Ugh. Jesus. Some strong tape in Sweden. Okay, here you go, Tim. This is all for you. <sighs> Look at that, Timothy. Pretty cool. Don't know where they're made. But uh, it looks like they're from Europe, that's for sure. Look at that. And there's no trademark on KISS, so it's, they got to be bootleg. These are probably bootlegs. But they're actually trading cards. But they're stickers, too. I don't know. They have, they have that little uh, silvery whatever, laser or something on them. That is for your KISS collection, my friend, Tim. All right. There. Now. Our friend Marianne also got me something that I'm really excited about. She told me she was going to get me this. I kind of asked her to get me one of these things as a joke, but she really did. <laughs> Tim left. <laughs> I like this way. <laughs> Tim left. <laughs> okay, there's my friend Brad, my neighbor, on my way. Uh, cool. So she would be here any minute. Oh, there's Grandpa. Hey, Grandpa, I'm opening stuff. Hold on, Gramps. Okay, so this is from Marianne. I can't wait to see this. Hey, Daniel Hensley, I just saw you pop in here. Oh, Marianne, I'm so excited for this. Check this out. Check this out. Check this out. She sent me footage of this concert she was at. I was very jealous. <gasps> okay. 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 
Look. Oh, yeah. Look at that. And look at this. It's got all the tour dates on the back. Look at that. The whole 2023 and 2024. So it's got America. It's got Europe. What a smart idea. One tour shirt for the whole tour. Sick. Oh, this is so great. Can you tell I love uh, shirts that are black with red and white ink on them? Can you tell? Can you tell? Marianne, this is awesome. Thank you so much. Oh, I'm wearing that on tour. Hives, man. Great band. Oh, look. This was in there. Thanks again. I don't know what you're thanking me for. Oh, I gave her some uh, stage-worn Devo shirts, I think, in Sweden. Or at least one. Finland. Oh, wait. What's that? <laughs> anyway, uh, this is so cool. All right, let me put this somewhere safe. Put it somewhere safe. I guess right there works. All right, ready for more? <laughs> okay, now this is new Devo merch. Just got announced yesterday. New Devo merch. Want to see it? Here we go. All right, check this out. This is available now at clubdevo.com. Uh, yeah, check this out. Hold on. A few minutes here. I want to get the right size. Oh, here we go. Check this out. This is a 50th anniversary celebratory Devo shirt. And on the front, we have a very classy metallic gold dome, right? On the back, same dome, 50 years of devolution, right? And on the sleeve... We have this snazzy little uh, logo I came up with here. It's the 50th Devo. And it's got the, the 50 and the Science Boy logo with the gold dome. So that is on the Devo site right now. You can get that. And also, uh, I showed these pins before because they were available in Europe. But there are also some cool 50th anniversary dome pins metal metal three-dimensional dome pins so you can get those at club devo right now if you want to. okay now the last box and then i'll bring tim back on the last box is a gift from my friend uh krk ryden artist extraordinaire brother of mark ryden uh, you know mark ryden he did the cover of michael jackson uh uh dangerous album so his brother KRK is a weirdo. I've known him for many years. He did artwork for Devo in the 80s. He's doing artwork on my box there. Look at that. Cool, cool, cool. So I have no idea what this is in here. He said he was going to send me something. I said, can I open it on my stream? He said, yes. That's where we are. So let's open it. Uh, I really, sorry. I really have no idea what this is. I'm really excited. If you don't know KRK's art, you should look into it. I know he's very active on Instagram. Holy moly. Holy cows. What in the hell? Look at this. Mohawk. A KRK toy. Look at this. I had no idea these existed. Mohawk. <laughs> look at him. Look at this, you guys. Wow. KRKLand.com, I believe, is still his address. Is a, and This is made by 3D Retro Company. Wow. That is so cool, man. To have your artwork turned into a three-dimensional thing. Oh, and then here is, oh, it's a different version. He's got different colored pants. And this one is autographed. To Michael Pilmer, my lifelong friend. Look at that. That is so nice. Man, I'm going to have to put these on a shelf. Look at that. Very cool. Man, this is cool. Now, there's a couple other things in here. Hold on. Hold on, you guys. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, we have... These fantastic glow-in-the-dark Holy Spud stickers. Now, this is a Devo-related art thing that KRK did uh, some time ago. 
Love this logo. And we have a letter here. Look at that. Says, Michael, here's some stuff. Nuff said, KRK writing. Very cool. I love you, KRK. Thank you for all you do. KRKland.com and find him on Instagram. He's always posting cool stuff. He's working on a project right now that's very exciting that I can't tell you about yet. But cheers, KRK. Mm -hmm. mm. And check out his brother Mark's artwork if you're not uh, hip to that. Oh. He went, so well, I'll we'll, we'll add him here. Okay, I thought Tim was maybe taking a bathroom break or maybe, a, you know. <laughs> see, you in, see you in smell, A. Pilmer. I think Eddie's been drinking. That's cool. Yeah, Roxy, cool, huh? All right, so, uh, yeah, because, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, I'm trying to show stuff close up. Um, so let's do this. Let's do this thing we do where we ask people to post something positive that happened to them since last Thursday. Just start with the word positive in the chat. So I know what you're talking about and uh, we can uh, all celebrate the positivity in your life. You know what I mean? Oh, Swedish flags. Sorry, Marianne. <laughs> I meant to say Sweden. I said Finland. You know, all those European flags look the same to me. Unless it's got stars and stripes and it's a certain way. I don't recognize it. Because I'm from America. We're number one or something. I heard Funko filed other employees. Well, what, do they have robots now? Or do they just have a bunch of Funko Pops working for them? What, how does that work? I don't think you can fire all your employees yet. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry, Marianne. I'm not that smart. I, I said, I was thinking Sweden because of, uh, you know, hives. But, uh, ah, look at this. You, you wish that you were in a position where they could break up with you, but uh, you're not. Yeah, soap girls won't break up because that's what all they do. There is no breaking up. Soap girls are family, and they'll always be family, and they don't really do anything except family and rock and roll. I mean, quite literally, they do nothing else. They don't have friends. They don't have boyfriends. They don't have girlfriends. They don't have social outings. All they do is work on soap girls. That's so uh, cool to me. I love that. Um, and, and my, not change, but I don't know if, do we ever talk about that? Hijaculate yourself. That's the first art show that I uh, did for Mark Mothersbaugh. That's, there's a video coming out about that. I'm there's waiting to edit some footage in the footage of that. Yeah. I've got footage of that show that I'm editing into another video. Okay. Now let's check out some of these positives here. Um, real positives, not vanilla gorillas positive. <laughs> Positive. Order my Bob two figure. That's a, oh, oh yeah. I start school as full of buds. Butter knives. You uh, do well with those figures. You uh, come up with really great ways to photograph them. I got a prairie dress. I'm not sure what that is, but it sounds lovely. And it sounds like it goes well with an energy dump. Positive. Nicktronic got the documentation to be able to start looking for a dog. What uh, what kind of documentation do you have to have? That's weird. You just go to the pound, pick one out of the cage. Positive, positive. Pearl Jam Midwest Tour kicks off tonight. I bet you're going to see that, Zip Pearl. I mean, not, are you going tonight, Zep? I know you're going to see that show, right? Because your name is Zep Pearl, for Christ's sake. Positive, managed to snag both Devo Super 7 figures and the Art Devo box. Oh, yeah, Art Devo. That's nice. a major. Oh, no. Oh, no. Deadwax. Deadwax's channel, Dead channel is built on Jackson 5. Now, what are you going to do? It's just going to be a tribute channel from now on. It's not going to be any latest news of the Jackson 5. Dead Wax, I feel for you, Randy. I'm hugging you. I'm hugging you right now, brother. Positive, says Jeff. Only needed to replace motor on AC unit, not the whole thing. But you still got to watch the air conditioning fix-it guy do it shirtless, right? That's positive, too. Wyoming Dave says hello to Randy. That's nice. Funko was acquired by Mondo, so it's possible they were let go or have to reapply. Yeah, companies, man. That's what you get for working for big companies. I like to do work for Funko, but not work for them. You know what I mean? I like to design Funko things, <laughs> help design them, but uh, not work for them. Positive saw BV2s last weekend. Oh, whoa. I wonder if they're the ones that picked the uncontrollable urge video. And I was going to jump to this earlier, but I thought, uh, but um, I, I'm, I'm pretty surprised. 
positive. I had a mini stroke at the end of June. I forgot about that, Nick. Jeez. And, and I did not know, Nick. 13 pounds. I'm getting a test test coming up negative, so I'm probably healthy. 13 pounds is good. That's a lot of burgers. That's cool, Nick. I can't wait to see uh, your progress when I get up there to the devotional. Nick now is very instrumental in making those devotionals go forward without him. Absolutely. Not. Positive going on a Labor Day mini golf expedition to Myrtle Beach. Oh, nice. Myrtle Beach. I'm jealous. Bay, Bay tree. It's been a long time since I've been to the beach. Positive says, Fuzzwat, I'm a week away from going to a two-day festival, Rock Timber. Oh, Vixen. Kicks. Oh, man. Oh, I love nice. kicks. Please tell Vixen that Michael Palmer says hello if you see them. The Devo guy, they'll know. Fuzzwad, please. Yeah, please give my best to Vixen when you see them. Huge, huge positive. Just ordered a Super Chat Charlie shirt. No way, dude. Did you? That's cool. I have a few left. Somebody ordered a Whiffle Fist shirt today for me, too. That doesn't ever happen. Mariana, positive. Got a neon green jumpsuit. Oh, wow. Happening in Brazil. Neon green jumpsuit. I can't wait to see that. You, you got to come to devotional. Yeah. Are they coming to devotional? Are they, I don't even know. No. Uh, Adrian, positive. This is the best positive I've ever had. I got to meet Dave Matthews. I saw that picture, Adrian. That was so cool. I did not see it yet. I, I've been a little off the, the socials, but I will check it out. That's great. I'm going to have to talk to you about that when I see you. Emotional support animal letter. I like whatever that is. Oh, nice. Oh, what's up, Ripper? Ripper. Rob, I hope you're coming devotional. I'm ready to get down, right? I'm ready to get down. Have a good time, right? Be there by Thursday, Rob. Be there by Thursday. Probably dressed in the name of the 70s. Oh, okay, like Little House on the Prairie. Okay. Going to three driving events in the next two months. I guess that's a positive. Or he's just bragging. <laughs> Daniel Hensley, positive. Soap girls rock. They are one day closer to coming back to America. Okay, so that's what maybe Vanilla Grill was. Uh, uh, I don't know. Are they one day? Yep. They'll be here October uh, 19th. Wow. And oh, here comes my buddies. Come on up. My buddies have been zooming around. Uh, oh, nice. the last five I minutes. I think there's cords under there. Where's your here's another positive. Oh, she bailed. I'll say, just so come on in. Oh, this is my uh, former neighbor, Brad. There, hello. Come on. Yo, in. yo, yo, Brad. Don't be, don't be, don't be shy. What you got there in your shirt? Yeah. Oh, oh, he's, he's <laughs> yeah. He's just checking. Yeah, he's gonna have to get his gun out. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I can't believe she bailed. That's that sucks. Hey, read it. Read it. I saw both Dave Matthews Dance shows over the weekend. My friend is really ha happy to just wow. meet Dave Matthews. She's been waiting all her life. Dave Matthews. Uh, so uh, positive, but you see my 19th century Packard Mayfair. That's got to be a car. Okay, yeah, a car. Whenever Nick talks about something and, and he uses a word, I don't know, it's a car. Nick, you should come up. We should go to the museum. <laughs> yes. He lives in a museum, a car museum. I need a Super Chat Charlie shirt. Okay, wait. Did you just buy one? Or was that no, something saying. else? That was somebody else. Oh, Fuzzy, uh, Tim will post the link. Yep, Do you know yep. how to get to it, Tim? Uh, I got to get it. It's Big Cartel. Michael Pilmer or something. Yep, I don't know. Just, yep, yep, yep. I know. Uh, positive. Ramalazi Dunks drops this weekend. I don't know what that is, Nathaniel, but it sounds like a band. Okay, wait. Uh, yeah, Fuzzy, I think we're going to post the link for you if you really want to get one. That's really cool. Hey, man, let's do a shot. All right, we're going to do a shot. You see Tim, man. Right. Did you see Tim? What's up, man? Tim's awake as you're Tim, no. How'd she bail? She was already wasted. <laughs> ha! Did you hear that, guys? I asked him why his friend bailed on coming to see us. She was already wasted. <laughs> oh, shit. It's like 7.30. That's amazing. Uh, Mike, I cannot bring that up. It's, uh... It, it, I, went, uh, I went to Big Cartel and did a search for you, and it did not come up. Uh, just search Super Chat Charlie, and then okay. it will come up. Just search yeah. Google. And Super yeah. Chat, I believe, is oh, one yeah. word. Just search Google. All right, here we go, brothers and sisters. Then I'll get another beer. Mm. Oh, that's uh, this is a cheers to uh, – get over here. Right here. <laughs> Me and my neighbor here, cheers and y'all. A little whiskey. Mm hmm mm hmm, mm -hmm. Here we go. Good to see you, Bradley. You as well. You as well. Been a while. Pardon me. I'm gonna get another beer, you guys. Uh, Tim. Yes, sir. Entertain the troops, entertain the troops for a few seconds. Get, get it right done, there. man. Just do it. Just do it. And I am posting the uh, super chat Charlie Link Fuzzwad right here now. 
So there you go. It'll take you there. And I know quantity is limited, but I believe he's going to do another order. I think I, no, I'm not going to do another order, but I have, I, at least I have a couple of each size left, I think. Okay. At least. Uh, I gave Mark one on tour. He loves it. He wore it on the uh, tour. I also gave him a, a, a macula dog shirt, which he wore a lot. <laughs> nice. Oh, wait, right, here's some more positives. It's a joke. My friend with five cacks found a pair of pants that fit like a glove. I know what that's supposed to say, Dave, but uh, I couldn't what? say that what? word in good conscience. All right. Um, and I have a positive. I'm going to see Men Without Hats tomorrow. And I have front row. Great, great band. Michael always has a hat. Yeah, that's right. I used to not. Up but then I became so hip to wear one. That Crippen, I Crippen von Fracht uh, says late as hell over here. Oh, gotta go. Bye. Okay, Crip. Crip, we'll see you, brother. So Take good care, to meet man. you. So good to meet you overseas. Oh, wait, another positive. Got a white boiler suit. That's what those British people call jumpsuits. Super cool. I'm not sure if I should dye it yellow. Why not? But, you know, they did wear white suits at some point. They had some tape on them, which is weird, but I would say go yellow. Uh, go yellow. Um, I heard the Dave Matthews tour bus emptied its toilet tank. That was a long time ago. Oh, I oh, just wait. had a good one up there. I know. I was, I was real. I was talking about something. What was it? What was oh, it? This. Positive. The point on Tim's head and the point on his chin are pointed directly at the same angle. <laughs> and I see that now. I think Nick, Nick probably just ate a candy bar and he's on a sugar high. <laughs> That's what I'm guessing. That's what I'm guessing. Uh, oh, negative. Can't make it this year. Oh, man. God, Rob, I thought you said you were coming, man. Shit. Um, so I will be able to, some more devo, do, devotional news real quick. Uh, I will be able to announce uh, two uh, sponsored uh, thingamajigs, um, gifts, as it were, door prizes in the next few days, hopefully. And I will be able to announce another special guest in the next few days. And um, yeah, so there is more devotional news coming. So a flock of seagulls recently, the word recently messes that up for me. <laughs> if it was any other time, but recently. Hey, Brad, what what are we doing back there? I don't know, a flock of seagulls, man. Oh, okay. Flying. Okay. <laughs> well, well should, we do some, should we do some fish? <laughs> Dude, I sold a fish uh, CD today for $34.99. Really glad. Yeah. All right, here we go. Holy hell, is that Joe Nachos? I don't know what that is. That TV show, movie Joe reference? Nachos. Oh, Joe Machos, the guy that uh, stream sniped me. No, that's not Joe. This is Bradley, a.k.a. Brad the Neighbor. <laughs> In the dark. Hold on. And he, he's music royalty, everybody. Yeah. So, yeah, we're going to – it's so nice in North Carolina after the storm. This shirt for Blue what? <laughs> Dude, ah, let me see. I don't see what's going on over there. I have something for you. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, nice. That shirt for the Bluegrass Festival. Very cool. Hey, so so do you still not want any uh records or anything? No, I'll, I'll take I'll take anything red soap on. Well, for the most part. Okay, because before because I kept I, I've collected a lot for you, and I have some really kind of cool and some rare stuff. Um, everyone, he is uh he is Red Sovine's great great grandson, correct? No, great. He's my great uncle. Great uncle. Okay. I got you this. I've never seen a Red Sovine CD ever. Oh, sweet. Yeah, sure. I, I, I just I just got one. I just got oh. one. Oh, an older one. Wow. Yeah. Isn't that cool? I've never seen a Red Sovine CD. So you oh, yeah, it. thank you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I, I, I've got I some of... eight tracks. I've got some uh, with, with the slide uh, covers. You know, oh, photo slides. And... I That's got. Cool. I, I kind of forced Brad to make a little uh, shrine for Red. Well, I love it. It's a great idea. I mean, why, why now not? people ask you about it, right? Yeah. Hey, that's your last name. Every once in a while. Uh, so uh, one thing I wanted to mention is, uh, is there anything I have to deal with here in the chat here? Um, I, I just was here. Look at this. Some said, I guess it's continued. Yep, waiting and waiting and waiting. Yeah, I don't know how that all works necessarily. I know that Devo has to get offers. Devo doesn't choose where they play. They get offers. Oh, and check this out. Well, I mean, Dave knew 
Why teddy they bear. teddy bear and giddy up go? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, teddy bear's the eight track that I have with that slip cover. Yeah, it's, got, it's got all the greatest hits. Great. Okay, here's the rest of it, Mike. Here's the rest. Oh, wait. hang on one sec. Uh, I, want, I want Brad to answer this. Somebody asked if you're drinking real beer. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, that. yeah. Even more real than I'm drinking. Yeah, Miller, Lite. Miller Light in a can. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's his, his jam. Okay, Here, Mike, 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 Mike. Stop. I'm sorry. Now you had it. Well, it's it's not like Devo says we want to play here, 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 and here. They say, what offers do we have from Europe? What offers do we have from the United States? What offers do we have? And then the booking agent goes around, and I guess he just pick set people festivals and says, uh, do you want to have Devo? You know, so it's like Devo doesn't choose where they play necessarily. I guess if they had offers from every city, they would have to choose depending on logistics and travel and whatever, but they don't really choose necessarily. Like when somebody says, why don't they play in Akron? Well, it's because nobody in Akron offered them any money to well, play. And, and it's, it's tough. Like the venues and, and even on a, a smaller level, like what I deal with, um, yeah, these venues, they, they don't get back to you that, you know, and, and there's a short window of time that you got to plan your year. Yeah. Adrian, it'd be so worth your money to come to the devotional. <laughs> you would love it. Oh you my gosh. It. And Adrian, you wouldn't, like, wouldn't like, want to miss another one. If you one. could, I don't know why you wouldn't. Um, Cause uh, uh, we can tell you that if you come, you will want to come every year. Okay. Let me, um, come and come again. Hey, exactly. <laughs> and Brad, <laughs> Haven't seen you there yet. Where? What's that? Now why would he come? There's no reason he would come to devotional unless it was a fish fan no, thing. No, like just, just like he's not stuck on just fish. No, no, no. I, I, I'm, I'm on others as well. Other bands as well. I'm not sure. It, it might be a little uh, weird for Brad. I, 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 <laughs> I mean, it'd be really weird. Yes. You know, you kind of got to be real it. nerdy and geeky. <laughs> Where's devotional? My friend Randy, it's always in Ohio, and for the last umpteen years, it's been in Cleveland. We did, we did try it in um, in uh, Akron a few times, but yeah. Cleveland is where we uh, made our home. It's always it's in Ohio. A great, a great venue, it's oh. a, definitely a, a punk rock venue, and uh, they're great to us. Now, here's some things I want to mention on this list I have here. I want to make sure I talk about Doctor and Kid. Dr. October and the kid, they have a stream usually every other Saturday. It has not been going on lately because, uh, <coughs> pardon me, because Dr. Ass, Dr. October has been on vacation. It may be coming back this weekend. I'm not sure. But if it does come back Saturday night, I'm going to try to be there for that stream. I've missed so many, uh, so many uh, uh, streams of theirs because I've been traveling or whatever. So and, and I, hold on. here's a question for you. It'll be USPS. It will. Yes, for sure. Fuzzy. Yes, my friend. One more. Can I drag you to Long Beach Flea Market on November 19th? Mm, uh, Hold on. Hold, please. Hold, check his dates. Hold, please. Because, uh, yes, uh, he usually has his stuff pretty organized. I usually don't. Um, Uh, I know I'm going in November. (laughs) I don't know when. You know what? So so he's got Uh, it together, usually. I think actually that's the day I am supposed to fly home from LA, but I could see if I can extend it. Uh, but I would need a place to stay in LA. Maybe I could stay with grandpa Roxy. I don't know. There's, there's a chance. Cause I think on my schedule now I fly home on the 19th, but maybe I could extend it a day or two, as long as I don't have to go right to, I have to go right to Australia, which is going to be tough for me to extend it. Anyway, it's up in the air. You're not staying at grandpa's. <laughs> Um, here's one more question or one more statement. Yeah, it is. But you know, this is when you, you plan a few other things, uh, you know, plan for next year and then plan a couple of other, uh, America targets for you to visit, you know, make it more than just devotional. You can come visit me in North Carolina if you want. I have a guest room for you. Uh, so anyway, also I wanted to mention, uh, I want to thank Vinyl Richie. He's probably not here, but Vinyl Richie um, and I have been uh, commenting on uh, each other's stuff. He's popped in here a couple of times and he did a video. He told me, hey, look, look back on my videos months ago when you were on cruise. I did a video you're going to want to see about 7-inch records. So I went and checked it out and he showed his anti-scene 7-inch collection, which I never thought he had. Like 
he had 10 or more anti-scene singles. And he also had a bunch of Dickies, which I was really cool. It was really cool to see him show those things because uh, I don't see those two bands very much in the VC. So anyway, I just want to thank Vano Ritchie for making content constantly. I haven't seen a lot of his recent videos because I've been traveling, but he's always on it. Also want to thank Rachel, uh, Rachel's Ghost, I think she's still called. Yes. Uh, yes. And I don't even know if she talks about my stream anymore, but I just want to thank her for past support uh, or current support or whatever. And I keep trying to go, get back there to watch her streams, but man, she streams at the most busy parts of my day between nine and 12 every day. Uh, so, you know, I agree with Vinyl Richie. Oh, sh is he here? Or are you just talking about what I was talking about? Uh, I don't know. Is he here? I don't know. Peter, he's you, not, you, Peter, Peter, you are confusing with your comments. I don't ever know if you're talking about somebody who's here or you're just <laughs> pontificating about something. He is not here, but did you see the statement that you just took off? No. Okay. No, I didn't see it. Here, here it is because it's earlier. Um, Oh, shit, I jumped to that. Hang on. I'll help you up with a pace. What's a pace? There it is. Oh, oh damn, I did it again. Oh, there right. we go. Sorry. I still haven't heard back from the Rock House in Greensboro opening show girls. It's okay, though. I just wanted to see them in person. Yeah, don't worry about performing with them because that means your night is going to be you know, more work than fun. Oh, all right, dude. You can put them up here in this fridge if you need. Um, you saw yeah, that, so, so. Uh, well, good luck with that. But, yeah, please, uh, come to the show in Raleigh, dude. Come to the show in Raleigh. For sure. Christopher Carcass. What is Christopher Carcass? I know who Carcass is. But I don't know what Christopher Carcass is. Okay, what's this? My phone's buzzing at me. Okay, there's that. There's that. There's that. Okay, hey, Mike, there, There's one from Adrian. Fuck. What? Read that one. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be funny. Okay. No, I didn't think so. But um, she gave me so much support in the past. And I could, I, you know. Look, I haven't been over there to see her stuff in months, man. I I just, uh, I can't, uh, you know, I can't do it. I can't watch YouTube like I used to. Hey, Nick, what? Why is everybody buying Charlie T's? <laughs> That's awesome. That's My awesome. God. Oh, Michael Pimmer, Rachel mentions you every time I'm on her show. Oh, that's very nice. Oh, well, Ivana Ritchie is always right. He has the experience and the age to be always right, for sure. Um, and, now. And, and uh, Emza Pan, Pam said this. I am broken uni graduate at the moment. But so, you know, it's good, it's good that you're thinking along those lines. Because sometimes a, a miracle may happen and you'll, and you'll find yourself going to devotional. My and, buddy! And you, won't, and you won't regret it, I promise you. You have a buddy, Dead Wax? My gosh. No, he he, yeah, he, he um, paid up on that. They they expired. I'll get your room, but we got to be up hunting treasure at five thirty. Well, that's no problem for me, man. I'm a I'm an early morning guy, but I got to make sure it works with my schedule because if I if I'm coming home on the nineteenth to North Carolina and then I have to go to Australia on the whatever twenty something, I may need every day that I could get here at home to get ready for that trip. So we'll see. We will see. Uh, let me mention this. Uh, when I was in England, I was flying. I was getting ready to fly back to America. I had a bunch of uh, pounds, coins that I had to use. So I used them on some packs oh, no, of. No, no, wait. I used them on some packs of gum that had a Devo reference. Blockhead gum. Now this is energy gum. Okay. This is calm gum. Blockhead. And this is CBD gum. <laughs> So I just blew a bunch of uh, euros on many packs of these because that's all I could find. I bought some socks. <laughs> that's how I blew my uh, euros or my my pounds. It was a throwback to one of my first comments on your show here. Oh, was it? Oh, I, you know, fuzzy. I appreciate you. Oh. And I wonder how I wonder how long you've been coming to the show. That's that's interesting to think about. Now, uh. Um, hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, I'm going to just say that there's somebody on that hasn't been on in a very long time. And now is a perfect time to jump in and just make a single comment. Oh, so, how do you know they're here? Because I just got a text. Oh. Mm. While so, that happened, while you're waiting for that, I'm going to run to the bathroom really quick. All right. All right. Yeah. 
Thank you. Thank so we you. will talk about whatever beyond. Uh, come on up, Brad. Come on over here. So, uh, yep, yeah, uh, Brad used to live next door. He's not right very here. far from Mike's Good. now. Was right that? Or, or yeah, anywhere's come on. <laughs> no, 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 no. You know, do si do and like all the other crap. I have so, a sty in my eye. What's this? Oh. <laughs> man. So what the hell? What's new, man? Oh, nice. Oh. So that didn't work. Um, Nothing. Working. Going. Things going well. A lot of time at the pool. Um, yeah. Excited for the weekend. It's going to be beautiful here this weekend. The tropical storm hurricane came through last night. Got an inch yeah, of rain. Did, like, what did you guys get? I didn't even ask Mike. An inch of rain. That was it. They're, they're saying like two, three, four inches and, you know, disappointment. <laughs> Well, you know, like, like, especially right where you guys are, it always goes right around. Mm. Yeah, it went way south of us. So, but people in the room. All right. People. Any other shows, any concerts besides Fish? Uh, I went to Fish a couple of weeks ago down in Wilmington. Yeah, two, two days in a row. Yeah, yeah. The, the second day got rained out. It was a crazy thunderstorm. What? You can see, you can go like on some fish on Instagram and stuff and uh, see when Trey and Sergio was saying, uh, Hey, we gotta stop. I don't want to stop, but they're making us stop. And right after that, a lightning bolt comes down like right, right behind the amphitheater. Oh yeah, Woo! that'll do it. You they know, it Devo almost had to. Yeah, I bought a house. Nick, I bought a, I bought a house like right down the road. I was renting next door. Yeah, and, he was renting next door. Yes, yes. And Michael was a bad neighbor, of course. Like Michael Jackson, bad. Yeah. <laughs> so kind of good. Yeah. Now. um, uh, I was just uh, telling him, well, he noticed it went in my bathroom. I have that new sink, right? Mm -hmm. Because yeah, my other one uh, kind of caved in, shit the bed. So, yeah, this I have a, what do you call it? A, 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 a vessel sink, like a big bowl kind of thing. I just called it a bowl. Yeah, bowl. Yeah. It's just, yeah, it's a bowl. It's really, yeah. it's really interesting. Much more easy to clean the countertop now. I mean, the, the whole bowl reason. is on top of the. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So it's way easier to clean things. Uh, and it's. The same color as the hard water we have in Raleigh, so you'll never see the hard water stains on it. <laughs> Where's uh, Adriana? Adrian is from Adrian, California. Sorry. Oh, yeah, the Hurricane uh, Hillary. She's a surfer. She's a surfer. And, and, and hello, and there she is. There she pedestal. is. Pedestal sink. Who? Look down. Uh, What's up, Rusty? No, it's not a pedestal sink. It's just a, a bowl on top of a slab. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I think a pedestal sink comes up, and then like, it's all Oh, the it's sink. a pedestal that is on a... It's right, on a stem on the floor. This is called right. a vessel sink, I think. Anyway, Rusty, what's happening? Rusty Michael, a.k.a. Cherry Bomb, a.k.a. Pantera, of Thor fame, of Cherry Magazine fame, Cherry Magazine fame, of other rock magazine fame. I used to read Rusty Michael's interviews with bands when I was a kid in rock magazines. I had no idea until I met her in the 90s. And I was like, holy crap, I've been reading your articles since I was a little kid. Rusty, it's good to see you. Uh, I'm going to be coming down to uh, South Carolina to see Anti Scenes 40th anniversary at the end of September. Uh, I believe the show's on the 30th. I think I might yeah, get there on the 29th. I have I to plan all that out. But yes, Randy is a big Rusty fan. And I ju just ran across this today. Look at that. There's Rusty. Let me make you big, Tim. Hold on. <laughs> Pardon me. Look at that. What? I don't think she has her. She has clothes on, right? Um, yeah, I mean it's not bad, but yeah, there you well, go. Well, there's nothing, there's nothing illegal about that. No, no, just you know. So, yep. Uh, uh, Centerfulf. I like Centerfulf. I uh, probably, probably Randy. She probably has. <laughs> Wait, Anastina. Wait, anti scene. Oh, anti scene. Right. Oh yeah, fortieth anniversary. You want to come? Do you want to come, well, uh, Rusty? Uh, Rusty, we went to the 35th. Oh, we did go to the 35th. Holy yeah, crap. So, so damn it. I, I might have to, Mike. <laughs> and, and you saw Greg. Greg uh, Clayton, uh, which is the brother of Jeff Clayton from Anti-Scene. Um, he's he's touring with Enough is Enough, which is pretty cool. No, it's driving and crying. I'm sorry, driving and crying. It's driving and crying. I know uh, my friend um, uh, Diana who is the person that I created the I threw up campaign with and we were screen printing ho holics back then. Anyway, um, she knew the guys in, uh, 
driving and crying. And I've never really been a fan of the music, but she was telling me way back in the nineties about when they came up with the band name. And one of the guys in the band called her and she was like, he was like, Diana, I came up with a name for the band. And she's like, Oh really? What is it? And he was like, driving and crying. <laughs> he said it like really emotionally. Right. And I've always, every time I hear the band name now, I hear about it. I hear it going driving and crying. <laughs> he was driving home from the job he hated. No, he was, driving and crying. he had urine in his eyes. Or somebody, somebody threw salt in his eyes. Do you ever hear the punk rock band uh, or punk rock song "Salt in My Eyes"? I think it's not, by. Not. Uh, I think it's by. Uh, oh man, it was a band that opened for Black Flag back in the eighties. Shit. Anyway, there's a song. I got salt in my eye, eye, eyes. Oh wait, Australia, the twenty. Remember the first announced date is until December. Uh, Stu, you know, you know more than I do at this point. I just, um, I just know that, uh, no, I don't have to go to Australia on the 20th. I might have to go home to start packing and preparing for a date, uh, in November. So, and Michael Pilmer, it's black what's box red. What's that? Salt my eyes. Black box red. That's what it is. That doesn't even make any sense. No, black I don't think that, that's, that's, that's not, I'm no, that's not it. <laughs> that's not it. Uh, but yeah, salt in my eyes. I remember that kid when that song was on a kid. Maybe it is black box red. Who knows? I'm going to look it up on Discogs. What about that? Do you think that'll work? Well, I just did. Oh, it was black box red. <laughs> no, let's see. Salt in. It's going to be one song. Well, yeah, but I'll be able to recognize the cover. Uh, only Here, one came up. It's very brutal. Brutal. Oh, yeah, on Discogs, only one came up. Clunky song. Gosh, 920 pages of shit. Yeah, I, I'm not going to look that up right now. But anyway, uh, I think it was an SST band. No, alternative. Ten, no, SST band because it was Black Flag. So it was an SST label band. That's what I know. But who's the punk rock? Uh, who's the punk rock uh, 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 professional here? Who's the who's the, uh, who's the what guy? What he's asking is, come on, somebody what? else. You know, Vinyl on. Richie might know. Ah, I got salt in my ah, ah, eyes. It's a very tortured singer. He, you know, he's not like uh, he's not like singing as much as he's just well, Nicktronic. You know, you know, you know, use it. You know, put some salt in your eyes, and like you know, you'll 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 get the answer. Have you ever seen the people that do that shot where they, they, they take the, what? Steve-O did it. Yeah. What's it called? Uh, but it's like you take the, the, you have a shot of vodka and then you put salt around the. Tequila. Or tequila. It's a, you put salt it's around, a salted tequila. rim. It's just a well, salted you, but rim. But usually, usually that's what you do. You put salt around the rim, you yeah. tequila, and then you have the lime, right? Or the lemon or whatever Sometimes. it is. Sometimes. So Sometimes. There was a, a certain way to do that shot where it's called the suicide or whatever it is. And what you do is you, I don't know what order it is, but you, you snort the salt, you take the shot and then squeeze the lime in your eyes. <laughs> and a friend of mine used to do that. He was a Devo fan. He's sober now and married with kids. But before he was sober, he would do that every time we went out after a Devo show. It was brutal. Ah, bye, Marianne. We love you. Thank you for the beautiful gifts. Uh, I will cherish them, and Tim will cherish his kiss cards from Europe. Import kiss cards from Europe. Yeah. But Marianne, thank you. Thank you so much for your support, and it was good to meet you face to face. It really was, although it was for seconds. Um, I'll get you one. Dead wax. You got to come out here and get it, though. Come visit me. <laughs> yeah, Tim, when are you coming out? Uh, we're we're talking about it. Yeah, caught in my I, eye. I mean, probably at the very least the December thing. But it's been a weird year because yeah, I haven't been down there yet. Uh, dude, yeah. If, if I'm there, yeah. Rob. If I'm there for, if I'm there with any extra days in Seattle and Portland, I'm going. And and uh, and Rusty Deadwax answered you. I don't think it's Minutemen. Dead wax, Rusty answered you. Yeah, that right there. 
Yeah, I think I've got a couple of them somewhere. Mm. I know Deadwax is a huge fan. He's like the only one that always says, oh, my God, it's Rust Egg. It's great. Um, he's not, he's not there, really. Sorry, Nick. Sorry. Sorry, Nick. Sorry. <laughs> Nick's probably vomiting right now. Or he's broke out in hives or something. Um, all right. So coming up, I want to make, make sure you guys know, coming up on the uh, the channel here, video-wise, is going to be Aim on the Sniffers Meet Devo. That's coming. Uh, Bicycle Face Live is coming. <laughs> uh, my Europe Record Store Finds is coming. And then other recent finds video is coming. Uh, also, I've got probably some more Devo tour footage I'm trying to sort out. People have been asking me about London footage. Let me tell you the problem with London footage is that for all of these shows, not just London, I am usually relegated to being on stage and not out in front of the front of house PA system. So I never get the best sound. I'm always getting like drummer heavy or vocal heavy or whatever. I'm not shooting the footage to be the best audio. I'm just shooting it to give you a different view of the shows, right? But with the London show, it was a particular venue, an old theater, basically. And when you play those old theaters, what you notice when you're on stage is that the, the sound that you put out slaps back to you immediately. So you have a, you have a, a slight echo, a repeat of whatever sounds coming back. So anyway, the footage I shot of London, which is from the stage, it's kind of cool footage, but the sound is so bad. It's just, it's not even listenable because it just slaps back. So I'm trying to get, I'm going to reach out to uh, our front of house guy, the amazing Paul Hager, who also works for Molly, uh, or for Molly Cyrus and a bunch of other people. Uh, he often records at least part of the set. So uh, we're hoping that I can get board recording from him and then put it in my videos so that I can at least post them because I can't post them with the audio they have now. They're way too bad. Okay. Okay. So yeah. Okay. Tonight is very tolerable. Okay, Nick, I got you, man. I got you. All right. I got you. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, look, Tim, you have a cute baby. Well, what did the baby grow up to be? <laughs> <laughs> he laughs. <laughs> Nick. Your baby. Okay. Here we go. Nick, I'm going to try to do the, I just got paid $20. To burp. Hold on. Nice. First of all, we'll do this. Now that's the clown alarm. That's when you're when you're a police officer and you're you're looking for specifically clown looking drivers. Well, that's when, when you're Michael Pilmer and you're a clown. There we go. That's the clown alarm. That's what he gets for donating. And then he gets this a little super chat Charlie wizardry. A little wizardry. Look at that toilet. It's lighting up. It's lighting up. And now, along with all that celebration i'll try to work up a really good one for nick thank you nick it's very much appreciated and uh nick is uh i think still the moderator head moderator over at the fantastic plastics stream on twitch <laughs> that was just a practice nick that's not your 20 dollars belch right there don't get it twisted yeah that's now what does this mean renato cuto divo no pasado what does that mean please somebody tell me somebody tell me Okay, here we go. Now I'm going to try to really uh, let me some super chat. Charlie, he's sexy. Uh oh. Is he sexy? I think uh, I, got, I, got, I got Charlie all up on oh. his face. Uh, I think he's doing some business here. He's like maybe doing some investing or on, something on his phone. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was looking up what the word passado meant. Mm. Past. Oh, past. Okay. Maybe it says. Uh, something. Only has Dero's time here passed. No, they're still alive. Red Sovine, he says. Renato, this is Red Sovine's great nephew. Great nephew, Brad Sovine, right here in the flesh. I just handed him a Red Sovine CD as well. So, Renato, if you're a Red Sovine fan, you're going to want to meet this man here and have a beer with him and get him to sign something for you. <laughs> I've seen it happen. My signature is crap, so. Don't don't Ryder get your up too high, Nick. Ryder Jordan, we want you to come here and relax. All right. Busy, stressful evening is often good because that means you're getting stuff done. You're creating, right? And, and the busy stressful relax. just ended. Just have a little sip of whatever you're sipping on there, Ryder Jordan, and we'll uh, take it easy here. We have 45 more minutes to make you feel more at home and relaxed. Okay. 
Okay, now That's we have to ask the professional. One. That's you, the twenty dollar one right there. Miss yeah. you, could you please analyze this and, and give us a score. If I had some confetti guns, I'd shoot them right now. Anybody uh, got confetti guns? <laughs> a virtual confetti gun. They don't want to be cleaning up confetti. Okay, good. As long as Nick's happy, I'm happy. <laughs> oh, Nick and I have had some great times together. This guy, Nick. My God, man. It's true. It's true. We've been to Dickie shows. We've uh, retrieved lost cell phones in the highway, on the highway <laughs> median, with with dead animals around, like roadkill surrounding the phone. Oh. We found it. We. Uh, and oh, I'll and tell Mike, you. uh, you've gotten the score. Thank you, Miss You. It means a lot. Thank you. And also, there's this Red Sovereign is a country. <laughs> no, Red Sovereign is country. Yeah, he's country. He's like the most basic. A rudimentary trucker country. It's it's like a bluegrass bluegrass Look country. Up, no, it's, it's not bluegrass. It's very simple. It's but it's a, it's twangy. It's twangy. Yeah, it's like real simple. Like it's base. Like it's like the. It's like country at its core. Yeah. Yeah. It's like the start of really a pop novelty country. Really. Yeah. Because those songs were novelties because of the titles and the lyrics and the things like a damn toddler. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. That's what that's what people say when they see babies crying and pissing themselves. Oh, that's so cute. No, it's not. It's not. <laughs> yeah, in that case, it's it's jealousy between brothers. I can't use that term in good conscience because so many normies use that thing, the doggo kiddo thing. <laughs> How about Satano? How about Devilo? Oh, it's my little my little Devilo. Bone cancer O. Why don't they put O's on other things? They do. Fascisto. Country at its core, like come back Johnny. Mm, if come was spelled a different way, you might have a point there. Poppers. Now I like that better because it's almost like puppets. <laughs> Poppers. Even better. <laughs> Aim on the snippers. <laughs> Devilos. Oh, look at the little Devilos. You ready? Oh, look at the little, uh, what do you, Dependinos. We should just call kiddos and doggos Dependinos. Or Toddleros. <laughs> <laughs> Breakfast King. Check it. <laughs> Who's the Satano on the couch? This is my friend, um, Brett Satano. Because <laughs> we're calling things Satano, not doggo kiddos now. Oh, okay. Uh, this is my friend Brad. He's used to be my neighbor for years. He's since moved about a uh, mile away, bought his house. It's cool being a homeowner, right? Yeah. Homo. Yeah. Except no. for I just had to get my evaporator coil replaced after two and a half years. It cost me $1,800. What's an evaporator coil? Uh, something that should last for at least like. Is it your AC years. unit? Yeah. Like, don't yeah. trust the. Did, was it Michael's? What? No, the Stevenson's. Okay, but don't. You can't trust those people. Oh, no, I saw it and, everything, and like how it was leaking. Mm, it, it yeah, possible, but, but still, I'm saying don't I trust had no, it. I had no AC. It was 85 degrees. Well, I know, but I'm saying that those companies sometimes will make up shit. Like yeah. when all you really needed was probably a cleaning. No, nah, it wasn't that. My house is only two and a half years old. I know. That's I mean, what I'm saying. It shouldn't have died. It should have, it should have. I, I looked into it. I'm think, mm, okay, sucks. well, just be careful because sucks, yeah. last time I got my AC worked on, I happened to know somebody here in town who used to do it. They kind of were knowledgeable. So they said, look, I'll come look at it for you. And they gave me an overview of what they thought was wrong. Just needs a cleaning. It's got maybe has a freon leak, but the way it's leaking, it's it take years for it to leak. So they said, if you keep it clean, it'll probably do well. I had the people come over. They started saying it might be this, it might be that. I was like, look, you know what? Just clean it. They did it. It was five hundred dollars to clean it, but they did it. it works fine. They put a little and freon in it, should, and it should not have been five hundred dollars because, like, if you guys knew. Well, no, they were cleaning it for a long. It was dirty. I, it it had been you. I, I know years. how this works. But anyways, Michael, uh, right there. Two or three years. That's the way, Nick. That's and, the way. Have another candy bar. And then from M's of Pam's. M's. Okay. Yeah. See. Whoa. Yeah, but <laughs> I think but once you have them, maybe it. It's see, like I, I, oh, I'm this with is you, M's of Pam's. Um, and, and and you gotta throw dogs in there too, you know. Okay, this me. is my stream. I say no. <laughs> now listen. <laughs> now here we go. Um, toy and, dolls. And, and, okay, toy dolls. Let me tell you something. About toy dolls. I'm not a big fan, but I know that uh, one of the guys, I think the bass player, played with the Dickies for years. 
you know, I think in nineties, early two thousands, that one of the guys in toy dolls played with the Dickies. That's what I know about toy dolls. Right on. Well, and he plays with them. Who does? Hello. So, so you're a bedroom area. <laughs> oh, wait a second. Look, I want to mention this shirt. Does anybody know what this is in the chat? Who hasn't seen my European, uh, uh, record store video. It says nice blood. Nice blood is Norwegian. Right. What well, MZ Ben, some people are blessed. They're, they're what's called angels and they can take that burden and roll with it. And I uh, appreciate that. I like to take other burdens like uh, disrupting society and, <laughs> and <laughs> fighting my Catholic damage and my Ohio damage. Uh, it's close. It's close. It's a uh, nosebleed records, nosebleed records, noose blood in uh, Norway. But does anybody know what that is <laughs> or the relevance? It's a really cool story behind that. Amzy Pams, I have a kid. They're not all they're cracked up to be. Get a goat and let them have kids. <laughs> all I tell people is that you're going to love your kid, but then it's going to resent you anyway at the end of the, end of the day. <laughs> Here's the dog. He agreed. <laughs> I agree. He was like, yeah, Tim, come on. Even though it resent you, it's still a hell of a lot of work. No, that, that, I mean, that it's, it's a, a big carbon. How, how much of a carbon footprint do you want to have is the question. Are you recycling and composting, but yet you have a kid? You're kind of negating everything you're doing. Right? Hang out with more and more people that don't have kids. Well, I mean, the they're way. expensive. Other couples to hang out with that don't have kids because it's like, hey, you want to do something again? Yeah, we can do it. Yeah. Well, because costs. kids are very expensive. It's like having a very expensive car. You know, I could never ex ex afford a Lamborghini or a whatever all these expensive cars were. And I know I can't, so I don't have one. It's like a, it's like a Maserati. You pay way too much for it, and you get like nothing in return for it. I mean, sometimes I, you I, do. I'm guessing you haven't driven a Maserati. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean the Chrysler 300 parts that are in it. Some of them have like a you know nice. No, 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 no. I'm talking about a Maserati. <laughs> now we get a car talk. Now, but I'm, <laughs> but I'm, I'm saying like uh, when I was talking to Mark Mothersbaugh, he was thinking about adopting kids a long time ago, and you know, of course, he knows my stance on the whole thing. But adopting was like interesting to me. But I was like, well, it's a financial question, really, because I always thought when I was a kid that each kid I would have would cost about a million dollars. I just thought, okay, I have to be a millionaire to have a kid. And he said, you know what? It's not too far off that yeah. number. You know, if you want to do everything for your kids you want to do, it's really not too far off. That's what you're going to spend on a kid. So I was like, okay, well, until I'm a millionaire, no kids for me. And then now that's probably like with inflation and this money and everything. I, I mean, yeah. And, and, and I can't really even say. I, I raised one and I can tell you what each thing costs, but I have no idea. See, I appreciate hanging out with teenagers way more than toddlers. Teenagers are ready to rebel. They are like primed. They are primed to hear the right information and then roll with it. <laughs> Toddlers ain't primed for nothing. You know what? A cat can have a kitten and within days that kitten's taking care of itself. How long does it take a human to take care of itself? Decades. <laughs> be like the life cycle of them all makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Um, Who's excited for college football? Sorry tonight. I don't know anything about that. I mean, let, I mean, I bet you there's some people who have that as a fetish. College football is a fetish, and they're excited, literally. Maserati. Thank goodness you drove it and nobody else did. And moving on. It's not a million all at once. Oh, no, but you have to have a million ready to – like, you have to know that that's going to cost you a million dollars. I don't think and I've I'm made a million dollars. I don't think I've made a million dollars my whole life. I, I think Rusty has uh, dug a well. Has what? Rusty has dug a well. At least she's creating. As stated below. And, dug a well. and hello there, writer Jordan Gordori. Now, let me show you something that uh, my friend uh, Delaney from Futurism Records gifted me today, kind of, sort of. Um, I saw him years ago when he came to Devotional as a guest, and he brought some of his product, uh, Futurismo product to sell at the event. And he had a few things left over. And he also had some gifts that people had given him, CDs and such. So he got a bunch of gifts from uh, uh, Stephen Rebellin, who, who does remasters of a bunch of new wave stuff. And he got all these CDs. And I, and I sent him a picture of what he still had at my house. And he said, you can just have all those reissue CDs because I have other copies at home. But look, I got this, SPK. Um, now, I think that that 
originally stood for surgical penis clamp when they were like more industrial, but I think this is more dancey stuff if I'm not mistaken, but I could be wrong. I don't own any SPK really, so that's cool to hear. And then there's also this, what I'm not familiar with, trees. Trees. I don't know who trees is, but uh, and it's called Sleep Convention. It's Rubellin Remasters, right? He did Oingo Boingo. He did Missing Persons, all that stuff. And then here, this is a good one. Oh, look at this. It's a toddler. Listen to this. Look at this. Black Mass Lucifer. Remastered by Stephen LeBell. Now, this is something that's been talked about on in the VC, uh, the vinyl version of this. This is obviously reissued, Stephen Rebell and Remasters. I did, Ryder Jordan. Did you recommend that to me a long time ago? And then here is the unexplained. I don't know what this is, but it's also Rebell and Remastered. And then I got Daniel Dax, who I've heard lots about. I've never heard her, or I've never, you know, Remembered what she sounded like, so that's going to be cool. Again, Rebellion and Master. And then the last one is Visage, who I'm very familiar with, and I don't have any on CD, so this is cool. All I have is Visage on vinyl. Are you familiar with them, Tim? They're a great synth-pop band. Kind of in the uh, same vein as Depeche Mode. And, oh, you have your mute on, Tim. Yeah, I just noticed. I was just like, Visage is how I always pronounced it. Yeah. SPK on eBay for over 200 What, that CD? Well, it has sat in my house for about five years. <laughs> so, uh, pardon me. And and, uh, and here you go, my uh, Steve Strange of Visage, yeah. And, and Huge had this to say. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, you can't be a parent until you can take care of yourself fully. And I've always been the only dependent I could really take care of besides and, my cat. And, and Michael had this to say. Yeah, well, I need help with that, too. <laughs> my, are you familiar with Leo? My, no. No, not at all. Just off the top. Oh, Michael Proskin. Holy crap, dude. Michael Proskin. Let me let me shed some light on who Michael Proskin is and how he helped Devo throughout the years. So Michael Proskin, I'm pretty sure he's still a very highly respected uh, chef, cook, caterer in the Chicago area. And um, I got to tell you, for years, he, I don't know how, I don't remember how I met him. He's a huge Devo fan. He would provide me and Devo with some of the best food at uh, Devo concerts. He would, he would just basically, we would tell the venue, don't worry about it, we're handled. And he would come in with his crew and cater this beautiful food to us. And then he did it for devotional, and Bob, too, helped him cook all the meals. Yeah. And he swooped in, this guy Michael swooped in and made so many people's dreams come true, made it doable and enjoyable for Bob Casale to flex his food muscle, because he's a foodie, you know, Bob Casale was a real foodie. So uh, anyway, yeah, Michael Proskin, hail. Nice to see you. I want to meet you again face to face. It's been many years, many years. Wow. Okay, so the CD is up forever. Well, it's sad that I only have one copy of that. <laughs> see if uh, we'll see if Futurism has any more. Uh, oh, wait, Michael Palmer. I have because of how much of a poppy trip it is so different than the previous output. God, I don't know what album he's talking about. You gotta be real literal when you post those comments in the chat, like what album you're referring to. Wait. Yeah. Oh, Nick was there. Nick remembers that was Michael Proskin. Michael Proskin is going to heaven when he dies. Let me tell you what, if I have anything to do with it, if I have anything to do with it, <laughs> talking about my heaven, no. that could be here on earth. Michael Proskin, come visit me. I'll take you to some really crappy fast food places. <laughs> and I won't ask That's you to cook a wolf. <laughs> Nothing. Um, so we have 30 more minutes. And what I want to do is, because a lot of you here, you here have watched my channel for a long time. I've been posting a lot of videos, but I want to know what... That, your mic. that damn toddler, man. Get that thing out of there. Go put it in a cage. I was burping. <laughs> was yeah, you got to have that on camera. Okay, now, uh, wait, I actually heard about the rebelling or mastering. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, so I want, I want you guys to tell me what your favorite stuff uh, that I post is, whether it's live streams or concert footage or whatever, thrift store shenanigans, autograph stories, whatever it is. I just want to know uh, what your favorite stuff is so I could kind of more focus on that if I can. But typically, what I post, the content I post is – 
uh, directed by and um, fueled by whatever just happens to be going on in my life. So, you know, sometimes there's op opportunities to do things. And sometimes there's, there's a, uh, an obligation I feel to post certain things that I, uh, that I live through and that I document. So nice. wait, Amina, finally, the chat screen is working. It's been blank since the beginning. Amina, you haven't been to church in a while, have you? <laughs> or you've been to the wrong church. <laughs> the universe is against you, Amina, but we're here to save you. Well, yeah, it's the idea you like. I'm just telling you, you want to dig into the reality. Just ask people who have kids. <laughs> Talk to Tim about it for a while. <laughs> He'll give you some uh, real life <laughs> experience. I mean, it, it, it's... I think having kids is presented in society as being a very beautiful, miraculous thing because there's a lot of businesses that depend on people having kids all the time. So they got to make it seem like it's a very fantastic, special thing, you know, because they got to make, they got to sell those strollers and those little onesies and they got to sell that baby food and the formula. And they got to sell that stuff. If people's not having, people's ain't having kids, people's ain't buying formula. Uh, yeah, those bootleg uh, Devo beers. Really? <laughs> uh, Read it. Now, Brad is a beer aficionado. Can you? Uh, bring uh, Brad is not a beer aficionado. <laughs> he's, a beer, he's a beer lover. Hey, Brad is a Brad Miller beer. Light lover yeah, and a yeah, uh, that's a marathon uh, beer, man. And a white claw. <laughs> yeah, a whole lot cheaper than hell. He likes special IPAs. He likes stuff. Yes. He likes hip stuff. So he was looking at this in my glass case, my Devo case. He was like, "Hey." Did you get this in Europe? And I was like, yeah, I just brought it back. Some fans bought it for me. It was a limited edition. He was like, it gets really good reviews, really good ratings. <laughs> I tried it. It was, it's, you know, it was like a standard kind of like IPA kind of vibe to it. A little too much taste for me. Hey, Mike, read that but real not, quick. Not over the behind. What about my behind? Yes. Just oh, read that's that. That's very nice, Miss You. I forgot all about that game. Let's well, see how we're doing. We're not doing good. <laughs> ah, nah. Well, you know, but nobody pushes it anymore. So that's that's why. Well, yeah, because uh, here's Randy's uh, thing. Hit like if you want. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm telling you, when I'm in somebody's live stream, I never remember to click the button unless somebody says, hey, click the thing. And I'm like, oh, okay, I'll go do that. But and, I never uh, remember. And HTMC, uh, you ain't wrong there. Absolutely it's correct. The, it's the algorithms that we're uh, trying to appease because the algorithms like that stuff. When they see that kind of activity on a channel whether it be hitting the like button or commenting or super chatting not super chatting but chatting in the chat all that stuff equals uh good stuff for the algorithms favorite stuff you post basically music new artists music new artists like stuff that maybe people don't know about and stuff and also i don't really love the show it will never change i mean uh, for you and and there you go not a beer for beer lovers, but, well see there's difference though miller light is for the, the long it's the marathon beer it's you're gonna drink it over and over and over basically as much as you can that night but the ipas and stuff that's not for just pounding them down one after another because then no, they're strong yeah and they're expensive we're poor folk it, just because he's he's related to sovine doesn't mean he's rich. <laughs> <laughs> and huge is talking oh cool all right oh good okay well i just Why you know, I didn't know Miller likes so much. Like beer snobs uh, hey, hey, hey. Nice. What? Oh, uh, Michael. Okay, hook up with me. Uh, yeah, are you on I'll be there, man? Uh, okay, so uh I don't I don't know if I still have your phone number, Michael, but anyway, reach out to me. We'll connect. We're we're gonna see each other for sure. For sure. For sure. I always hit like thank you, Rusty. You're very kind. Very kind, Rusty. Thank you. Bob, thank you. I need to be more like you when I go. Well, I haven't been to people's live streams in a long time, but See, look, that's what I'm talking about. But you have to realize that <laughs> some people don't realize that and they want a kid regardless. I understand the the, uh, the appeal of having a child. I understand why people want it, but I'm not sure the earth needs it. <laughs> no, nah, you didn't. There's no worms. Uh, you know, look, Cats Not Kids is in the top right of my screen. It's not like I'm hiding the fact that I'm not into kids. <laughs> Advert Schaefer is one beer that you have when drinking more. Yeah. Well, yeah, there's certain beers for certain things. You know, I'm not an IPA guy at all, ever. I never want to drink a beer for the taste. I never really do. What? 
Yes, Mondo. I haven't talked to you in a long time, dude. Braswell, what's up? I'll be there. You'll be there. I've got to look into all that hotel stuff and all that stuff, but yeah, I'll One do more. it. I missed the KRK art. I don't, oh, oh, I'll show it to you, Jerry. Hold on, Jerry. Okay, so I'll start with the small stuff. Okay, so first of all, now I have to do this for Jerry because he's he when I posted the fact that KRK was going to be his artwork's going to be on, he was freaking out. He was positive about it. So anyway, here's the letter KRK sent me. See, everyone in the pool, KRK, Michael, here's some stuff. Enough said, right? So the small stuff was these glow in the dark, uh, holy spud stickers, Devo related, holy spud eyes all around, and then. Stuff that was in the box, dude. Check this out, Rob. Check it out. Oh, look. KRK toys of his character Mohawk, right? Two different versions. You see fleshy version here and then blue leather jacket version here. And then this one and this one are both signed on the cover, on the top, right? I get, this one's personalized. To Michael Pilna, my lifelong friend. Anyway, that's the KRK stuff I got, Rob. I mean, Jerry. Isn't that cool? Hell yeah. I used to book a lot of art shows for KRK back in the day, but he does pretty well on Instagram and selling his artwork online these days, I think. So, yeah, all hail KRK Ryden and his brother, Mark Ryden. Very cool. Oh, let me put that can back. Yeah, but thank you to the uh, European Devo fans who made sure I got some of those beers. There was my friend from uh, Sweden, Jorun, who dropped some off at my hotel. I never even got to meet him. He dropped it off at the front desk of the hotel. And then there was uh, another one. How do I get a Mohawk character? Rusty, you should um, go to krkland.com. I'm assuming they're there. Uh, but I'm sure if you just search for M-O-E-H-A-W-K in quotes, Mohawk, it would come up. It would come up. Uh, yeah, but hey, I'll see you, Mondo, at the Anti-Scene Show. For sure, look for me, okay? What does it say, Jerry? Uh, oh, I got some as well. Oh, cool, all right. Right on, you got them too. You must be really into KRK. I might have some old KRK art t-shirts around, uh, Jerry. Uh, the Holy Spud shirts. If you remind me via email and tell me your size, I'll dig around. Mm-hmm. Now, anyway, let me tell you really quickly about this store because I don't think anybody knows. Uh, I talk about it in my European record store video and I show footage of it, but Noseblood, Nosebleed Records, is um, basically a, a store that only sells black metal, death metal. They have a basement where they have other kinds of metal, maybe some punk, but it's basically an all metal store. Everything from Kiss to Impaled Nazarene, Slayer, Venom, all that stuff. And um, the story is, is that there was a band called Mayhem from over there in the, the Europe. And uh, uh, I believe they were actually from Norway. And um, one of the guys in Mayhem killed himself, blew his head off with a shotgun. The, band's, the band members found him. They uh, took pictures of him. They took picture, pieces of his skull. They made jewelry out of it. They, made, they used his blown off head for an album cover, which is very hard to find. And then there was a movie and a book made about it called um, Lords of Chaos. So this store... Hey, Rob, see you later, buddy. Thank you. This store was, I guess, first opened in the building, in the, you know, including the room where he killed himself, and you could go into the room still and uh, see where he died. Like It's kind of like a basement, little basement room. But that's where the store is based, and, and uh, people from all the world come there to see it. And I didn't know until after I visited the store. I didn't know the whole history of it. I had no clue. And then some road crew guys from Europe were filling me in. The Norway guys were like, oh, that store is great. It's, you know, all this. No, I had no idea. It was so cool. So uh, no thanks to seeing that room. What do you mean? Well, I mean, I think I did show it in the video, but I didn't know what it was at the time. If you see the, vid if you see the video, I go down in the bottom of the store in the basement, and I pan over, and there's this room that's basically empty cement room. There's like a mop bucket in it. And that's it. That's all that's in that room. I'm assuming that's the place, but look, I'm assuming a lot because I wasn't hip to that before I happened to find it by chance. But then when I, even before I knew what it was, like what the history was, I said, I have to buy a shirt of this store because this store is the most amazing metal store I've ever been in. So that was a the story there. Um, 
Thanks for showing again. No problem, Jerry. Uh, I knew you were the big fan of KRK, so uh, I had to make that happen for you. And I don't know, no, Micah, we didn't talk. We didn't bring it up. Um, did Are we uh, proposing noise if people want to or no? It's too late in the game now, I think. Nobody's, nobody's mentioned it. Uh, I'll, make, I'll make noise. Oh, he can make noise all kinds. <laughs> he, can, he can always make noise. Yeah. Give him uh, some onion rings. <laughs> Burger King onion rings. Watch out. Mm. You okay. know what? They got some new snack wraps. That are good. I think it's 840. I think we should do another shot. Well, okay. it's good. Oh, he's watching a football game. <laughs> You're like masturbating in front of me. That's weird. I think when people watch sports or when they eat, they should do it in private. It's kind of too sexual. You're watching shit. And it's not sports. I'm not eating. I'm not eating. Yeah, but watching sports and eating is kind of fetishist. It's kind of fetish behavior. I mean, eating is just nice. Anytime you watch a video with a bunch of guys in tight clothes touching each other on the butt, that is a fetish. And when there's competition involved, that's even... So it's like a kiss concert. I don't think they touch each other's butts. I don't know. I feel like they do. Nah, I don't think so. And they're not competing against each other. I got, I got nothing. It's them against the world. All right, here we go. Uh, everybody, my friend Brad, we love him. We haven't seen him in a long time. Nice day to go. No, we haven't seen him in a long time. It's very cool that he stopped by. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen anybody in a long time. Mm. That's true. Never watched sports ball. You know, I do watch sports once in a blue moon. I really enjoy watching um, football when I'm, I'm sick and bedridden because I – even if I just turn the sound off, I just love watching the inertia of the bodies, like the car wrecks that happen over and over again. Bodies flipping around in slow motion. I like the costumes. Got to go places to do, you know, that you're creating huge. You're creating maybe uh, venereal diseases or art or something, but I appreciate you for that. <laughs> huge, huge. Thank you. And thanks for your great avatar, that Australian Devo or New Zealand maybe Devo poster. Thank you very much. Huge, huge. For you and your interesting Huge. name. Huge. Watching, no, watching golf is like paint, watching paint dry or baseball. Oh my God. How boring is baseball? Basketball, too. I can't do it. It's that just back and, forth, back and forth. Back and forth. There we go. Professional. I am a professional. I'm a paid professional. Hey, wait, Mikey Bananas. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. Look, a lot of people like sports. I'm not uh, saying. Oh, yeah, Brad Michael from Poison, right here. Uh, oh. That shot in beer was woo, pretty heavy. Uh, now, well, yeah, I, you know, look, some people find pleasure in that, which is understandable, but I'm just not wired for that. Nick, well, then I think you owe me. <laughs> <laughs> Nick never owes me anything, believe me. Nick helps make rock and roll dreams come true, not only for me, but for other people. That's a that's a huge power to have in the world. Creating. Look, Nick has a normal job, a nine to five, just like everybody else. But guess what he does for his, his vacation? He makes Devo's fans' dreams come true. Oh, wow. Devotional. Wow. Having he manages devotional every year wow. with me. And it wasn't for him, those fans would have nowhere to go. You know what I'm saying? Way to go. Uh, so Nick, name was he? Nick said, the car Nick, guy. Nick, the car guy. He's, he's been here before. The, the top. He's been here before, and I hope he'll be here again. Nick, I hope we're going to work out going to some non-Devo concert together oh, again sometime. I like nice Tahoe. Tahoe's are my favorite, like, big SUVs. He, uh, I think, I think he's, the one he's, a, he's really into cars. Rusty, actually. I don't know. Michael, when I watch your stream, I don't feel like I'm driving alone. Oh, you're not. Oh, wait, you're driving? Freaks you're to the not? front, Rusty. Freaks to the front. Rusty is true rock and roll uh, hierarchy. Like she's true. Where's Rusty at? Where, where in the states? Or... Rusty's in Charlotte. Oh, in Charlotte. Okay. Yeah. Uh, she was born in uh, what? In the South for sure. And then she uh, went to New York and found her uh, rock and roll dreams. And then married Thor. More oh, rock and roll okay. dreams. Now wait a second, Nick. What happened here, Nick? Paying up. Thank you, Nick. Thank you. Because you know nobody works for free, Nick. <laughs> Look at this, Nick. You get the clown, the clown alert. This is like that's a lot, Nick. This is profiling, clown profiling by the police, obviously. 
but at least you know a clown's there in case you're scared of clowns. And then we'll have Charlie do a little dance. Charlie has a purpose in life nowadays, thanks to you people who send him donations to celebrate. Because before, in the 90s, early 2000s, he was nothing but a mantelpiece that very rarely got talked about. Now he's a superstar. How does somebody have a tip for you to, to kiss the, the, the penis uh, thing there? A dollar ninety nine. Yeah, because that's an actual Dickies stage prop, so it's almost like religious. Yeah. It's like kissing a crucifix. So you, a, a you know, how people kiss crucifixes all the time. Yeah. They've been they've been in their dirty pockets or yeah. around some dirty Bible. They'll kiss those, but that thing's been at a rock show. Yeah, that's dirty as hell. Yeah. <laughs> I'll kiss it. Shit, I'll kiss it. If you could, Groovy Lisa, what's happening? Groovy Lisa is somebody from California who I've met at Amoeba Records, one of the best places on the world. <laughs> Look at that one. I almost said the alphabet. What does this mean? Face green, smiling, face green, smiling. I've seen somebody else post that. Is that a new thing? Is that like a TikTok thing or something? I haven't seen it on the TikTok. Face green, smiling. What is that? But hey, Groovy Lisa, good to see you. I tried to catch your uh, Dusty uh, Springs uh, stream. I couldn't make it, but uh, I did intend to. That's right. Leonard Gray's Phillips, not young, young. His arm has been up that thing. I'll kiss it. <laughs> I'm telling you all secrets in burp language. You know, I was watching this earlier, and you said something about like not being able to, you're drinking Heineken because you can't find Amstel. I can't Light. find Amstel. And I have an Amstel at my house that you left at my house. I'm, I'm going like, to bring that you should. And, and surprise them. Yeah. And I totally forgot it. Well, so. keep it there. I'll, six months from now, I'll drink it. Yeah. It's already been six months. Wait, it was a fun time. I was pilmering through it. That's what I do. And we also had a burger, didn't we, Groovy? We, uh, I got Groovy and Lisa lunch uh, before or after we did that. Uh... Oh, Rusty, you're done, done driving? Welcome home, Rusty. Oh. Rusty, let me know if you want to go to this anti-scene thing. I'm making my plans. I got to try to find a hotel in South Carolina. But uh, you're welcome to stay there, of course. But let me know in advance so I can get two beds or one bed or whatever I'm doing. What is the face green smile? Is that uh, my goodness? You're too kind. No, I'm just a little bit kind. <laughs> I'm not kind enough to devote my life to a human child. I mean, he's nice and all, but I don't know. I'm nice and all, but I'm. Not kind. Kind. I mean, I guess. But... I mean, kind. You know, I'm following you on kind. Uh, it's the YouTube emojis, but your computer is translating in code. Really? What? That is amazing. Why is it doing that? I love the broken algorithms. Because everything we call smart these days and decades to come will be looked at like, oh, they called those smartphones. <laughs> they couldn't cure cancer, could they? Is. They couldn't get you laid, could they? Really? Their phone wasn't in their head. Wild. Yeah. They couldn't make you money like they do now or save your life or fly you to another country. Phones will be able to do everything. Another, another, another world. You could uh, procreate with phones coming up soon. We can talk after the chat or tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow for sure. Uh, that'd be best because I'm going to take a walk after this chat. But yeah, we'll talk. We'll work it out, Rusty. I still haven't planned anything for that trip, but I know I'm going. 40th anniversary. I cannot miss the 40th anniversary of Anti Scene, the very first punk rock band. You took me to one? I took I got, him to I got one. A record broken on my head. Yeah, there was a band opening for Anti Scene called Kiff, K I F F, kind of a Kiss logo. Knowledge is for fools. And my friend Andy, who sings for that band, he has a habit of always bringing a bunch of old vinyl records and breaking them over the heads of people in the audience. And my friend here had never been to a punk rock show ever and hadn't still hadn't seen anti scene, but the opening band was playing. I was like, Brad, just go get your to get a record broken on your head. He went up there and did it. And I think it changed his life a little bit. It was pretty cool. It was like being baptized. I, I think I still have it somewhere. I keep it. a piece of it. Is he the one that liked the red seven? Yeah. Yeah. yeah He's yeah, the one that asked yeah, for your yeah, autograph. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So the singer of the band who cracked a record on his head is the same guy who asked him for an autograph because he's such a big red Sovan fan. So <laughs> doesn't it? You're so stiff. This is the rock and roll, like uh, the, the parallels of the universe, the rock and roll energy. It makes these things happen once you tap into it. Good people, it's good stuff. You got to tap into it. Oh shit. Okay, broken algorithm is the future used nickname. Please. Well, why not we just go for it right now? Yeah. Well, those are hard though. Those are actually they will mm -hmm. cut you. <laughs> but there's a you know if as long as they're not Duroflex, I think if they're most any other kind of album that was released in seventies, eighties, sixties, old classical records for sure. But the shellac ones that would fucking hurt. I think. 
I think that would hurt. Oh, and let me tell you guys, uh, for a long time, my live streams were not being fully monetized for whatever reason. I guess it was picking up on some bad words I said or whatever. But lately, you guys, we've been sneaking by and they haven't found any dirty stuff. So that's good. Now, I, uh, I watched a Steve-O video. You know, Steve-O, jackass, right, Tim? Tim, are you looking at porn right now? Because you're muted. So I'm, I'm thinking that maybe you're muted because you're slapping some stuff down there. Yeah, uh, yeah totally. But yeah. I'm saying... Uh, I did not know it. Steve-O from Jackass has a, has a show where he interviews people. He interviewed Oliver Tree. I watched it. And he was saying how... Uh, Hold on. But Oliver Tree didn't have any views before Vine? Is that the one you're talking about? No, 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 no. Uh, I just saw her... Uh, Oh, fuck. Now I got sidetracked with this question. What the hell was I talking about? Uh, Anti-Scene 40th anniversary. Go to antiscene.com. You will see it listed there. I don't have it off the top. I think it's the 30th in South Carolina. An algorithm is like, Ronald Richie, you know how you consider angels? It is. Uh, uh, you have an angel on your right shoulder, an angel on your left shoulder. It's kind of like angels, but they're way more in control of your future and your destiny. <laughs> so, And they 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 pick out things that you put online and they judge the value of what you put online and then they either introduce what you put online to other beings or they cut you off so you have to be nice to the algorithms they're like the mafia of the internet <laughs> um it is the 30th in spartanburg uh south carolina i like the miss ooh comment. wait f1 fan nick hey what oh but look here f1 fan nick let me tell you personally uh I've never been affected by a death in my life more than my cats. I know it's weird. My parents have died. I haven't reacted to them the way I reacted to cats dying. Now, you have to understand that a 13-year-old cat is pretty good for a cat's age. That's pretty long. I'm sure that cat lived a very happy life because of you. You know, the ones I'm really totally devastated by times 10 are the ones that are like out of the blue like oh my god it was so young i got hit by a car or lo your lost cat is the worst because you never know what happened but i feel you f1 fan nick and look i'll uh cheers you uh therapy to you my friend thursday therapy to f1 fan nick is that f1 formula one is he a race car guy are you a race car guy nick because i never i'm not that knowledgeable formula one is, is so cool yeah to watch, so. i think maybe oh ah nick we love you, brother. Thank you for showing up, and thanks for uh, sharing that with us. Look, Dead Wax speaks. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, the or the flay was tender; it needed no beating. <laughs> you notice how the dog's not making any noise anymore. I think he's on mute <laughs> so long he actually was like listening to the plot. I think the dog can't bark with his mouth full. <laughs> <laughs> That was gross. Miss you, I agree. Um, Disco, what? No, 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 That's what I was trying to bring up. Arts and crafts. Here, tell them. Disco is not a bad word. In fact, disco mixed with new wave and punk rock. Uh, awesome. I am so into disco. I've never been a hater of disco. Who's dead wax? Huh? Let's try. Disco fucking I rules. Peter Gray said, "I'm gonna respond to stuff faster than you are." <laughs> typically, the people who uh, rebelled against disco, the disco sucks crowd, were either racist or homophobes. <laughs> typically, because disco was very based in that culture for a long time. Hey, Bill's box of sounds. Ah, uh, you didn't read it. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't know what you were doing. You were waving your hand around. I thought you were. Yeah, I, was I was pointing down like I do. <laughs> Pointing down because your dog was busy. No, he's right here. More peanut butter left. He's still huh? dreaming of you. Getting more peanut butter left. So yeah, so <laughs> algorithms are basically. Mike loves cats, but hates other animals. I don't hate other animals. I just don't want them in my life. <laughs> <laughs> because they're like toddler humans. Um, Agreed, wait, Wyoming wait. Dave. Oh, uh, thank you, thank you, Nick. You fucking rule, uh, okay. F1 fan. But what was F1 stand for uh, uh, the car thing? Wait. No, I, I don't think he answered that. That's fine. Oh, but I'm curious now. Uh, F1 fan virtual hug. Oh, thank you, Dick. That's so... Oh, oh, hold on, hold on, Mike. I'm that. trying to show you that. And plus, I don't know if they saw that. Oliver. I can't believe we were just talking about Oliver Tree. I Wait. saw an interview with him, and it was really cool talking talk about his start. No what? Music Mike Savoya, you 
you know Oliver Tree. Not anybody our age knows Oliver Tree, Mike Savoy. I've been a fan for years. That's huge now. I can't. Oh, so I was going to say, I saw uh, Steve O interviewing Oliver Tree, and they said something that I was going to tell you guys, but I can't remember what we were talking about. So I got sidetracked by uh, something, a comment Tim put up there. I have a very short attention span. So it's true. I get sidetracked like shiny. Oh, that. What was I talking about? My goal was to AD, ADHD this whole thing and just. Complete. And you all see, it's like even when I do. Oh, holy shababa. My goodness. This is why I don't have dogs, you guys. <laughs> I couldn't deal with that. I like noise when I want noise, but when I don't want noise, can't handle the noise. All right. Uh, fart noise. But yeah, Oliver Tree, Um, I wish I was going to remember what I was going to talk about. But anyway, just go watch that interview. You'll learn something, I'm sure. Mike Savoya, have you ever worked an Oliver Tree show? Because, uh, God. Yeah, that'd be oh, sweet. Of course. Wyoming, Wyoming, Dave, that was the start of a lot of techno that did, 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 like Zig Zig Sputnik got a lot of what they know from Donna Summer. Um, her bass on her percussions were uh, futuristic. <laughs> and they had that bullshit. When I was a kid, I went on tour stage with the village people. Please show me those photos. You still have photos? You saved them from the demise of your home? Uh, Rusty Michael, uh, over the last year or two, has gone through hellacious shit. Uh, had a tree fall on her home, on top of her, on a couch, split her home in two. Everything was lost, except for maybe she got a few boxes of stuff. Anyway, Rusty Michael, rock and roll gods are looking out for her, and and rightly so. Oh, it's a soccer term, maybe. F-I-F-A? I don't know. I can see that. Yeah, fan yeah, Nick, yeah. Are you always FIFA yeah. fan. I, yeah, I think I think he's on. Something. Wait a second, Oliver Tree had a top hit in Britannia. A few look, uh, I a few months back, I've been following him for years since pre pandemic. He got me into him with that whole uh video of them, yeah, with the Lamborghini or whatever on, mm -hmm. the, on the water and stuff. Oh, yeah, uh, uh, uh yeah, uh, cash machine. Oh my god, I got it. Yeah. I got, yeah, cash yeah. machine. Yeah. I gotta see him, Rusty. I'm a big village people collector, Italo Disco. Mm. See, maybe that's something that I don't really like. <laughs> now, there's yeah, there's Euro disco, and some of it's way too predictable. It's almost like house music to me. Like, there's a lot of house music that I can't deal with because it's so predictable. It's like, but I'm this, you know, I'm loving drum and bass. I'm loving sick, twisted uh, music. Where's that Gene Simmons doll's hand? We addressed that earlier, Breakfast King. <laughs> Breakfast King, were you one of the winners of? the drawing last year i think i sent you something or maybe i was supposed to send you something i can't remember breakfast king i think i was supposed to send you something and i never did i don't know my goodness miss you oliver tree and robin schultz i like the uh oliver tree version i haven't seen the robin schultz remix but oliver tree has some good stuff out i just bought a new album well i pre-ordered it a couple months ago alone in the crowd i can't wait third album by him first one was supposed to be the last <laughs> second was supposed to be the last I'm sure this third one will be the last. Uh, yeah, because they're old. I learned a lot when she died. It seems that cats nowadays start to have problems. Well, I mean, as do humans. Yeah. You know, when we get to the age of 12, we start trying to become adults, which is a problem. I was a little blunt with my answer. I don't know if they heard me, but hope they're not. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. See, Euro Disco, I, some, most of it, what I've heard is, is not good, but it, maybe it's just the really, popular stuff i was but i wasn't present so you sent me a gene simmons drawing okay i did send you something okay cool i know i remember sending you something right on breakfast king <coughs> pardon me okay we have a minute so we're gonna go i just want to uh thank my friend tim hey tim we're gonna see you later yes 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 all right so uh yeah, tim you're very coming to north carolina man like i haven't seen you in, like three uh, years. i know dude it's, it's been years, years. Yeah. yeah come on down been. maybe for christmas Years. Not, not years, but yeah, it's been a while. It no, has been years. It has been. It has yeah, been years, yeah. yeah. Don't uh, live delusionally. It's been years. I was there in well, December. Pretty focused most of the time. But it's, December, yeah. December hasn't no, but, happened. No, but that's years and cat years. We're talking oh, cat oh, yeah. years. Three years. Cat years. We're Seven years, cat years. You ain't wrong. 12 you ain't years. Wrong. 34 years, cat years. <laughs> anyway, Tim. Uh, yeah, he's an F1 fan. Do you need me to call you after the stream tonight? Yeah, go for it. And uh, everybody well, else. I mean, we'll walk, but I'll call you have for a great minute. week. And um, glad you guys could join us. And hope to see you guys next week. All right, see you, Tim. Nice Take care, all. Bye. Later. What do you got questions for? No, oh, cool. So uh, um, he has a question for F1 fan, please. Yeah, he is a he is an F1 fan. It wasn't the FIFA 
thing. He says, yes, Brett, I'm an F1 fan. Have been yeah. my whole life. Yeah, yeah. so that's, a, so that's the racing. Knows. Yeah, we, there was that. You he know, knows your car FIFA stuff. Thing, the FIFA thing was a, uh, a good guess for sure. One minute to win it. We're going to go over a little over this time because, you know, our friend Mazzaro is not streaming. So we'll take a couple of minutes to uh, say good night. And then, oh, Mark, I love Mark Rebelli. Live stream, you see the day, and he did a bass drop with a choir that was the best. I think that was one of his last we're, we're outside streams. Anyway, I've been following him for years. He's really great. If you guys don't know this guy, Mark Ribelay, I don't know how you pronounce that on YouTube, he's huge. He does a stream of content. Is that what you're talking about? No, Mark, that guy, <laughs> whatever. And look him up. Uh, so everybody's trying to be the uh, last uh, person in the chat here. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go get a new beer, open it, and do a big chug, and then we'll go. We got a little beer left. Hold on. Hold on. Life. What are people drinking tonight? What? Uh, Urine. I don't know what to do here. Okay, I feel like I'm on, on, on like a work call, but. Oh, fuck. Just broke my toe. Uh, people are drinking the blood of toddlers here tonight. Otherwise, no. Is it the urine of toddlers? Since it's not no, no, no. You don't want to mess with the urine. Okay. Not thank you, Breakfast nice. King, for your service. Oh, sheer wine. Love it. That's our that's our steak. Vinyl Gorilla. Salisbury. Thank you, brother. We appreciate seeing you. Uh, vanilla. Go real. <laughs> right on. Uh, not Miller Light. Uh, wow, 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 wow. Hello, Jeff. We'll see you soon, buddy. Yeah, All the, right. The Miller Light packs it on for sure. May the Purple rock and roll gods. The from cut. There we go. May the rock and roll gods bless you all. From me and my friend Brad, my neighbor uh, Brad. See you guys next time. Mm. Mm. Till next Thursday. More videos coming up. See you later. Peace.